John, is a professional killer, who can kill anyone by taking money, and he is the most expensive killer in the world of crime. After earning a lot of money from his work, John has now taken retirement, because he wants to live a relaxed life with his wife, John's wife's name is Natasha. One day John's wife says, that I am going to hang out with one of my best friend Nora for a few days, that's why I want you to take care of her stepdaughter, because her father has gone away from her forever after divorce, that girl's name is Sung Yun, and she is 17 years old. Hearing this, John says that the girl is 17 years old, and she can take care of herself, but on Natasha's repeated force, John agrees to do babysitting of that girl, but inside he did not like to do this, because he did not want to keep an unknown girl in his house. The next day, John drops his wife Natasha and Nora at the airport, and in the evening he picks up Sung Yun at a coffee shop. On the way, Sung Yun tells John, that she wants to stay at her friend's house tonight. Hearing this, John also agrees to this, but before leaving, John gives some money to Sung Yun, and along with the money, he also puts a tracking device in his wallet, so that he can know the location of Sung Yun. John drops Sung Yun and her friend off at the mall, and goes home. But in the middle of the night, Sung Yun calls John and says, that she has severe stomach pain, so John quickly goes there to help her. When John comes here after losing his sleep, then he sees, that Sung Yun is enjoying with her boyfriend. Seeing this, John is furious inside and realizes, that Sung Yun has fooled him, so that he can go back home with her. John asks her, that you were about to go to your best friend's house, but Sung Yun doesn't respond to his words, because she is chatting with someone on the phone. Now seeing all these things, John gets very angry with himself, but he controls his anger. Sung Yun asks him to leave, because her other friend was inviting him to her house. Now John starts to leave, but he sees Sung Yun going somewhere with her boyfriend, John understands here, that Sung Yun has fooled him again. John sees some girls here who were drunk, seeing all this, he realizes his responsibility, so he goes after Sung Yun. John soon learns Sung Yun's location, because she had a tracking device in her wallet. John comes here to a deserted place, inside we see a girl named Donna, who tells Sung Yun, that if you make my client happy, then I will give you $200. Here we learn, that Sung Yun's boyfriend has purposely brought her here. Donna threatens Sung Yun that if you don't obey me, I will not let you go from here. Hearing this, Sung Yun abuses her. Donna was about to slap her, but then John comes here. John tells them that if Sung Yun gets even a scratch, I will not leave you all. Sung Yun's boyfriend comes to fight John mistaking him for a simple man, but John who is a professional fighter, easily takes his knife. Now all the boys present here start fighting with John, and John easily defeats everyone. John tells everyone to leave from here, but suddenly Donna attacks him with a knife, but nothing happens to John. John punches Donna and she falls down unconscious. Now John leaves here with Sung Yun, due to that act of John, Sung Yun now starts considering him as a good person, due to which, there is a very good friendship between the two. At night, both of them go out for dinner, while returning home they see police checking on the way, here the officer Lee stops John's car, and interrogates him, officer Lee tells John, that some college students have been murdered here, so checking is going on here, after a few questions and answers, Lee lets him go. When John comes home, then he extracts information about that incident from the internet, from which he learns, that they were the same boys he beat up last night. After reading this news, John feels a little bad for those boys. The next morning, Officer Lee comes to John's house to question him, because he is suspicious of John. Lee shows John a CCTV footage, in which his car is going. Lee says, what was your car doing last night on the road near the crime scene? Seeing this John cleverly replies, that it is not only my car that has gone that way, rather there were other vehicles that have gone from there. Lee shows him another photo in which Sung Yun was with the same boys, who were murdered last night, but John avoids it, because the photos are not clear. Lee's accurate investigation makes John suspicious of him. After Lee leaves, Sung Yun says sorry to John, because she is very scared. Seeing Sung Yun's scared face, John remembers a girl he met in the past. This girl had given up all hope of living, and was about to commit suicide. But John forbids her to do so, and asks her to forget everything and move on in life. Then here Donna calls Sung Yun. She talks to John and says, that all those boys are dead and I have the knife that you snatched from those boys, and your fingerprints are on it, I mean, if I give that knife to the police, you could be in trouble. Donna says, that if you don't come to my place within an hour, then I will give all the evidence to the police. Hearing this John agrees to meet Donna, and before leaving, he gives a bracelet to Sung Yun, which has a tracking device inside, John leaves to meet Donna, leaving Sung Yun alone. John comes near a building, where he meets a man named Jang who is Donna's cousin, and his job is to kidnap underage girls and sell them. Jang asks one of his men to kill John, but John easily defeats her man. 
John asks Donna for the knife that had his fingerprints on it, but Donna refuses to give it to him. Seeing this, John starts torturing Jang's man, seeing which Jang gets scared, and throws the knife towards John. When John bends down to take the knife, suddenly Jang shoots at him, and starts running away, taking the knife, John quickly goes after Jang. In a room here John meets a fighter, who gives him an equal fight, but John leaves after badly injuring him. After the fight, John goes straight to his house. When he comes home, he learns that many people have come here, who have kidnapped Sung Yun, and taken him away from here. John quickly traces her location using Sung Yun's tracking bracelet, and then takes his guns and sets out to go there. John comes to a deserted street, where John attacks directly, seeing which Donna starts running from here, but John catches her. John asks her where is Sung Yun. Donna says that if you kill me, my friends will kill Sung Yun, after which you will not even find her dead body. Hearing this, John does not kill him rather starts torturing him, after which, Donna starts telling the whole truth to John. She says, that our job is to kidnap underage girls and sell them. Sung Yun is an attractive and virgin girl, who was liked by someone, and that client has given us a lot of money, so that we can kidnap Sung Yun and take her to him. And according to the demand of the client, we supply girls to them. John asks him where Sung Yun is, then Donna tells him the address of a hotel, where Sung Yun was kept. John asks her the name of the client, who demanded Sung Yun. Then Donna says that I do not know that man, but my boss knows him. Now John starts walking towards the hotel, where Sung Yun was kept. After leaving John, the police come here. When Officer Lee searches here, he sees Donna in a room, who was now dead. On the other hand, John reaches that hotel, and as soon as he goes inside, the people present here attack him. John is a professional fighter and killer, who easily single-handedly kills them all. But Sung Yun is not even in this hotel. Here a man comes in front of John, whose name is Yuri. And he is also a pro fighter, Yuri works for the Russian Mafia and he tells John, that tomorrow at 8am Sung Yun will be sent to Russia via a ship, but you will not be able to save her, because I will kill you here. John wanted to save Sung Yun, so he doesn't fight with Yuri and starts to leave, but Yuri follows him. Inside there is a long fight between the two. Now since both of them were professional fighters, both of them give equal competition to each other. Taking the opportunity, John jumps down from the window by tying Yuri with a rope. He falls on top of a car, that belonged to Officer Lee. Officer Lee points the gun at John, and asks her to accompany him to the police station. But John cleverly takes her gun from him, and taking him prisoner, he leaves in her car to save Sung Yun. After some time, John arrives at the cargo port, from where Sung Yun was being sent to Russia. Here John sees Sung Yun inside a car. John quickly attacks all the gangsters, who kidnapped Sung Yun. After killing them, John saves Sung Yun, but Jang attacks them. But John badly beats him, and asks him who was the one, who demanded Sung Yun. But Jang doesn't tell him anything. After which John shoots him. Lee is scared seeing all this. When John searches Jang, he finds a mobile, and Jang made the last call to Officer Lee. John understands here, that Officer Lee is also mixed with the same people, who traffic girls. John tells Lee that you tell me about the man, who is the head of all this, otherwise, I will give this mobile to the media, after which all your truth will come in front of the people, that you are a corrupt officer, who helps a gang and trafficking of girls. Now a police team was coming to this place, so Lee agrees to it. Lee tells the officers, that everything that happened here is a police operation, and he sends John along with Sung Yun to the hospital. At the hospital, when Sung Yun regains consciousness, she apologizes to John and says, that all this is happening because of me, but John calms her down and says, that it is not your fault. In the hospital, Lee tells John, that you committed multiple murders to save Sung Yun, but I have suppressed all those cases. John says I came to know the same day, that you work for Jang's boss, because I saw Donna's dead body in your car trunk. You knew that if the police found Donna's body, they could investigate and catch her boss, so you removed Donna's body from there. Lee is very surprised to know all this. John says that you bring me information about the Russian mafia, who traffics girls. At first Lee refuses to do so, because it is a very risky job, but then Lee agrees with him, because John has evidence against him, that could end his entire career. The next day, Lee calls John and gives him the address of a hotel, where a man named Park is staying. Park is a member of the same gang that kidnaps underage girls, and sends them to Russia. On the other hand, Park also comes to know, that the Interpol officer has come to know about its whereabouts, so he quickly starts leaving this hotel, but just then John comes here. John kills all her men one by one, and he beats Park badly and asks him about the man who demanded Sung Yun. Park calls a lady here who is involved in their business, and these people know her by the name of Pig Mama. John knows from Pig Mama's call, that the man demanding Sung Yun is a judge, whose name is Kim. Park here tells John, that we kidnap underage girls, after which, they are sent to the judge, judge enjoys with one of girl, and then the rest of the girls are sold in Russia and Asia, for very high money. After taking all the information from Park, John kills him too, John calls someone here, and he immediately asks them to come here, 
Within no time a team arrives here, and they quickly clean the place of crime scene, and dispose of all the dead bodies present here, so that there is no evidence left here. Actually, the work of the team that came here just now, is to clean the crime scene properly, so that no evidence is left here. This team only works for gangsters and mafia. After this, John comes to meet one of his partner, who is arms business. John takes a big sniper from him, and now John was all set. Only then Lee calls John and tells him, that the judge who is the mastermind of all this, he is the president of the central district low, and his identity is with big politicians, so I can't mess with him. But John takes his address, because he is a professional killer, who is not afraid of any politician or officer. Lee also reveals, that Sung Yun's father was killed in a car accident, after which, Sung Yun now lives with her stepmother. After taking all the information from Lee, John reaches the hotel, where Judge Kim was romancing with the hot girls. John kills all of the judge's men one by one with his sniper. Pig Mama has sent a new girl over here to please the judge. John was coming in, and killing everybody non-stop. Yuri is also present here, who starts firing at John. Firing starts here between the two. There is also Officer Lee, who was with John, but as soon as he gets a chance, he takes John at gunpoint. Yuri captures John and brings him before the judge. John asks the judge if you are the same man, who demanded Sung Yun. Hearing this he just smiles. Judge asks Lee to kill John. Lee comes out with John, but then John attacks him. Others also come here to kill John, but John fights them all, and kills them all in no time. He tells Lee, that I surrendered only so that I can meet the judge. John kills Lee here, then Yuri comes here and starts firing at him. A long fight ensues between the two, and John overpowers Yuri, he badly injures Yuri, and eventually kills him too. Now John comes to Judge's room, Judge understands that John will kill him, so he lures John with money, and offers him to work with him. John asks Judge about Pig Mama, then Judge tells him, that Pig Mama works with me in this business. After taking all the information about Pig Mama, John also kills Judge. On the other hand, we see Natasha with her best friend Nora. Both of them were sitting and talking, when someone calls Nora. Nora comes in her car, and takes the call, because the call was from Judge's phone. Actually, used to do all the work of trafficking of girls in association with Judge Nora, Nora's daughter is not Sung Yun, because it was her stepmother, so she was selling her adopted daughter for high money. Judge had told all these things to John, John kills Judge and calls Nora from her phone, and when Nora picks up the call inside the car, then here we see John, who was sitting behind her, Nora is very surprised to see John, actually Nora did not know that John is a professional killer, rather she was considering him as a normal person, John takes Nora away from the city, and tells her that he will take care of Sung Yun, saying this he kills him, John calls the same team here, who used to clean the crime scene, they erase all the evidence from here. After this John meets his wife, and hugs her, here we come to know, that the girl whom John had saved from suicide in the past, that girl was none other than Natasha, and now the movie ends here.